Hello everyone, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, your fellow Kingdom citizen. And today I want to share with you a church that has some amazing plans and I want to share with you one of those glorious plans that they have for this year 2020. So let's direct our attention to the board. Genesis Christian Church is starting up a youth initiative called Login 2.0 where they will have live events recorded at the church. And the primary goal, well, I should say this is my personal goal that I have for Login 2.0, is to bring young people to church. Okay, that can be a very difficult thing. I'm sure many of you can agree with that, especially in the times that we're living in right now. I want to be able to share my goals, and I believe Genesis Christian Church is in alignment with that, which is to help young people come to church and find purpose and meaning. When they come, learn how to be effective in the world that we live in today in the 21st century, and finally to raise kingdom leaders, okay? Well, how do we do that as a church? How do we do that as mothers? How do we do that as fathers? How do we teach the young? How do we get them to a place of understanding and meaning and purpose so that they do not fall astray? They do not get lost in the sauce, right? <laughs> so the way that I do that for myself and my life personally is I try, to, I try to figure this out. I try to find my place. So finding your place is going to take some time, some effort, and patience. And the way that I do that for my life is I try to answer the four major questions in life, which is, you definitely want to write this down. Who am I? Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? I only know one person that can solve that for me and answer it with full 100% security, assurance, everything. And his name is Jesus Christ. Our Lord, our Father, our Savior, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, Jesus Christ, is the one person I can turn to to help me answer those questions with 100% certainty. And as a young individual, you want to be able to have that same certainty in a very volatile marketplace where you're living in times where things are just so uncertain. So it's nice to get grounded in things that are unchanging, such as principles and laws that our Lord Father gives to us through his Bible, okay? So that's the first part. It's answering those four major questions. Well, how do you answer that? One thing that I do is I create some non-negotiables. Non-negotiables, like what does that mean for your life? For me, Non-negotiables are things that I do every day, no matter what. They're non-negotiable. I take a shower. I brush my teeth. You know, I tell my mom hello. I tell her hi. I love her. Um, maybe there's something I do in my work ethic. You know, I always make sure that I uh, spend time in my business. I spend time in my relationships. I spend time with God every single day. So you want to write down, right, some non-negotiable. Start with three, maybe five at max. Like things, they could be so simple as taking a shower, brushing your teeth, waking up at a certain time every single day. Those things can create bigger and better habits for your overall life. So go ahead and take some time in addition to writing down the four major questions is you want to have some non-negotiables, things that, hey, no matter what, I got to pray. Hey, no matter what, I'm getting up every morning with a positive head on my shoulder, okay? And the last thing that I do is giving and time commitments, okay? Time commitments work very in sync with the non-negotiables. You know, you're, you're taking time out of your day to commit to these non-negotiables. These things also help, you know, reduce, I should say, sin in your life, can help you get rid of things that you don't want in your life. Maybe you're trying to lose weight. Maybe you're trying to get rid of a bad habit. 
Maybe you've got some secrets in the closet that you don't want to get rid of. My friend Jesus Christ will help you with that. Creating some non-negotiables will drive you closer and closer to becoming the effective kingdom leader with purpose and meaning in your life. Okay. When it comes to giving, I don't want you to just look at this as a law. We understand that it's a law. We understand that it is right to give, but you want to make sure you're giving from the heart. Okay. When you give from the heart, it has meaning. It has more value, has more purpose. It becomes more effective. And there is a greater return from both parties. The person you're giving to, whether it be an organization, a nonprofit, or simply a human being, right? A person. Or you're just giving without even knowing where that giving is going, but you know that in your heart that you're solidifying that. You're, you're putting a prayer around it. You're like, hey, Jesus, this is my giving to you. I lift this off of me. I trust you. I have faith that this will go to the proper place, right? These three, these three things right here help me find my place. And when I go to church, which is something that I'm working on personally, going to church consistently, you know, I'm trying to create that as a non-negotiable in my life, to go to church, to go somewhere where I can get the word, right? Authentically, where I can rightly divide the word, where I can have meaning, have value, and know that what I do in this world will have value, will make sense, will prosper will sustain itself, okay? And lastly, I find my place in principles, which are these things that we went over, okay? Just to really solidify that. You know, and to give you an example of finding your place in principles, I would say something as simple as this. The sun rises in the east, right? Sets in the west. And then the moon follows at nighttime. You and I can both agree that there is a 100% chance that the sun will rise and it will set. And there's a 100% chance that there is a moon. We may not see it every night, but there's a moon at night and it goes away and the sun proceeds, right? The closer you get to those 100% guarantees in life in terms of principles, the way you live, your non-negotiables, your certainty in who you are in Christ and your meaning, the better you will find your place, whether it be in your own household, finding your place, finding your role. At church, knowing where do I belong in the church? Am I a pastor? Am I a, um, a spiritual healer? Am I, in, am I supposed to be in the band, in the choir? Am I supposed to be planting churches? The closer you get to those principles in your life, right, such as the sun rising and setting, it's 100% guarantee it's going to happen. Same thing like maybe in your finances, right? If you live on 70% of what you make and you preserve the other 30%, there's a guarantee there that you're going to be able to give, that you're going to be able to um, save and invest and pay your taxes. But see, if you live on... 100% of what you make, right? So you make X amount of dollars and you spend all of it, 100%. There's no guarantee that you'll have money for giving, for saving, for investments, for trips, vacations, pleasures, desires, things like that. So you can create these principles in your life, such as going to church. So if you're a young person, and you fell off, right? You're not going to church that often, or maybe you've just completely disregarded church. You found it to have of no value whatsoever. You would be utterly surprised if you revisit that concept of attending church, why that's so important to gather around a place of people, to gather at a surrounding of individuals that are going to raise you up in your righteous path that you ought to be on. You're only going to get that in these areas that have these principles, these non-negotiables. The closer you get to your maker, your manufacturer, the better you'll be off in succeeding in this life, 
right? The Bible says that he wants us to have good success. So if there is good success, I'm sure that implies that there's also bad success. Would you agree? I'm sure you can, right? There's ways that we can become successful unethically, right? Breaking the law, getting away with it, right? Do you have successfully gotten away with the law? Was that good? No. So that is a bad success. Whereas you can ethically grow a church, right? And be responsible. Maybe you're the treasurer and you're responsible for where the money goes. And then in return for, for being a great steward over that money, the Lord blesses you tenfold. And now you have more than you could possibly ever imagine. That is good success. Just like running a business and giving and giving and giving without any expectation of a return, right? And knowing that your source is the Lord and He provides you with resources so that you can succeed in your business as a young individual or an older adult, whatever it is. So when you attend Login 2.0, whether it be live at the church or recorded, I'm sure, I'm positive, I'm confident that you're gonna receive the value that you need to proceed in your life so you can find your place here on earth. My name is Denzel Rodriguez. Have a wonderful day. God bless.